The time that's spent not moving behind a desk creates tightness in the muscles. We got to clean that out so that they can continue to be strong and have a good full range of motion. Are you a student athlete or maybe you're a fitness junkie and you can't afford to take time off training? Are you dealing with an injury and it's slowing you down, keeping you from practice, and maybe let alone you, you don't want to consider injections and you definitely don't want to think of surgery? That's where we come in. I'm Dr. Brittany, your Bay City Chiropractor, and I'm going to show you today Olivia, who's an active uh, athlete and student, and she plays multiple sports. She's mid-season right now and we can't be taking time off. So with some pain in the low back and some tightness through the neck and shoulders, we're going to show you how we treat her. So we'll show you how we're treating Olivia's neck. She's got some tension from school and, uh, and keeping her low back moving so she can keep getting all those RBIs. Five of them last night in her game. <laughs> all right, sit square for me. Here we go. All right, arm, this one's going to come out to the side and we're going to go across your chest. Good, reach, 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 reach. Good, back out and across. So being a student athlete, we're sitting at a desk for, what, eight hours in school, attempting to pay attention, or um, behind a computer two days a week, or whatever it is these days, rest. And the time that's spent not moving behind a desk creates tightness in the muscles. We got to clean that out so that they can continue to be strong and have a good full range of motion. So what we're doing here is active release technique and we clean up that scar tissue out of the muscles that are trying to turn into beef jerky. <laughs> beef jerky is only good for the sideline snacks, all right? <laughs> Looking this way, look up to the ceiling and down to the ground, really let that chin drop forward. Perfect, good, and up and down. This gets after the knot that many people have up there in the top of the shoulder and down. It's a muscle called the levator scapulae and it goes from the neck to the top corner of your shoulder blade. And when you sit, either at a desk on a computer uh, or even driving, but when your hand is down, that turns on that tightness for, what, 20, 30, an hour, as long as you're sitting there. All right, let's look to your right a little bit. Good, up to the ceiling and down to the ground. All right, next we're going to move on. We're going to work on some of the muscles in the neck, but then get her neck treated and get it adjusted so that we keep, keep the joints moving so the muscles actually do what they're supposed to do. All right, so lay on your back for me, face up. Rest down. Good. So what position do you play? Third. Other than a uh, heavy hitter behind the, <laughs> behind the plate. Third base, all right. All right. Good little guy. Okay, arms, we're going to crisscross in front. Good, roll towards me. All right, hang on, scooch down a little bit on the table, like that way, just because of the, the hole in it. Good, there we go. All right, breathing in and out. One more in and out. All right, I'm gonna have you rotate and lie face down for me. Bend your knees, good. All right. Yeah, face me over here. Lay on your right side. Bend this knee. 
scoot forward a little bit. There we go. So we have another game tonight or this weekend? No. no? You do have one this weekend? Yeah. Welcome to softball. We got 18 games a week and only seven days a week. Good. All right, other side for me. Good. Scoop forward just a bit. There we go. Awesome. All right, come on up. So for Olivia's low back pain, we've got her doing an exercise called the shin box. It helps to get range of motion introduced into the hips and the low back all in the same move. So you start on your back, bend your knees, cross one leg up. From here, you're going to let the legs together fall towards the side. Be sure to exhale as the legs fall, and that'll help deepen the stretch without putting too much strain on any one area. Good. You do 10 to one side, and then we switch sides. Oftentimes, you'll feel there's a big difference from right to left, all right? So that's for her low back, for her neck, and sitting at the desk and doing school all day long. Now, they're uh, going to have to add in a break. So. Using a strap like this, I made these at home, so you get to take one home if this works for you. We scoop up under the skull, up over the ears, and we lift the head and pull with about 60% effort. From here, the arms are going to extend back, your eyes follow, your head's just resting in the strap, and we drop the head back. We do a set of 10, and what this does is it helps to give the joints in the neck a reset from being... Uh, sucked in forward towards the computer, all right? This is a good chance to pull your forehead off the keyboard, okay? So you're sitting like this and the head being stretched forward. Great, simple tool to add to anybody who's got a desk job. If you or someone you know is trying to get back out on the field and you've got an injury that's preventing you from staying in the game, reach out. If you want to get a thorough exam and treatment all on the same day, that's what we do here at Lake Effect Chiropractic. Your treatment will include specific soft tissue work to address the involved muscles, adjustments to get the joints moving, and some rehab exercises to get you better quicker and keep you better longer. Give us a call at 989-686-6808. We'll see you next time on Lake Effect TV.